Before I start making a tight coil with conventional coiling paper, I'm actually going to prepare my fingertip using a drop of water. And I'm just going to moisten the end of my strip with that excess bit of water. And the water is going to help make the paper more pliable, have a bit more friction on my fingertips. With my needle, I'm just going to place the tip halfway down the width of the paper and gather it up. And then at this point, I'm going to take it, the needle out and put it in between the prongs of my reverse grip tweezers here. And I just find sometimes the tweezer is easier to use than my own fingers because well, I don't know, I find that my fingers are a little fat sometimes. So this way those prongs can do the hard work for me. And then having the prongs there also helps keep all those edges even as I continue to ravel it up. And of course once it gets to a certain size you can just continue to ravel that up by hand. And then when we get to the end we just dab a little bit of glue and glue it closed. Okay, now that the end is down, I'm just going to put the coil on my work surface and using the opposite end of the handle here because it's nice and straight, I'm just going to press down really hard and if there are any edges that are not aligned, it's just going to smoosh them all straight. So there we are. There's the tight coil on that side and here's the opposite side. So, you know, I just kind of Obviously this is probably the, the side that had the needle and I'm just going to put that on my work surface and show the pretty side on top. If you'd like to make more basic quilling shapes, then watch this next video.